Hello everyone, thank you for attending this conference. My name is Darwin and today we are going to talk about new cluster selection and finite grain search for k-min clustering. I've divided this presentation into five parts. Introduction of k-min clustering, related work, methods description, experiment and results, and finally the conclusions. I will be happy to answer your questions at the end of this presentation. Let's begin. The user position is a key point for many current applications and services. While GNSS like GPS or Galileo receivers are embedded in modern smartphones providing position in outdoors, GNSS denied scenarios such as indoors where humans spend more than 80% of their time require other solutions. Wi-Fi fingerprinting is a popular technique for position estimation due to its low deployment cost and the simplicity of the position algorithm. The user position can be computed using the k-nearest neighbor algorithm and the dataset with reference fingerprintings taken at no position. Although this solution is widely used, it might suffer from some scalability problems if the position algorithm is run in a low-profile device such as smartwatches. Some authors have applied clustering models to group similar fingerprints of the radio map Later, the computation of the nearest neighbors is split into two search, the core search and the finite grain search. Although k means provides a good trade-off between the two dimensions, we identified two main problems. First, the search time is not equal in each definite cluster. And the second, the fingerprints might not be equally distributed among the cluster. Therefore, it is not computationally efficient. This paper introduced three new more computational efficient variant of k means clustering based on knowledge about the signal propagation. The main contribution of this paper are the new computational efficient way to reduce the cluster in the core search, two new computational efficient ways to further reduce the reduced radio maps in the finite grain search, and finally a reproducible evaluation to compare different scenarios. Well, Different authors had used k-min clustering with different variants, but always trying to get a better position accuracy, select a better cluster, and provide computational efficiency. For instance, Shin et al. proposed a tracking system that wields a level topological map and estimate the user's location. They applied k-means to automatically organize the space in a known environment. Abdullah et al slightly modified the k-means model by applying the Breckman divergence as a distance for cluster information. Kramaru Gadol stated that affinity propagation based on low Gaussian radio signal strength distance obtained for the largest time reductions. In contrast, the k-means based on Euclidean coordinate distance obtained the best error. Parker et al. Uh, used or test k means using a Euclidean distance in the feature space for cluster information in a small environment. The cluster determination in the online phase use a probability distance. Now, let's see the method description. First of all, we use the enhanced cluster initialization procedure proposed by Arthur rather than the completely random one. Note that the improved initialization is also stochastic and the resulting cluster depend on the initialization cluster. The information from the cluster is integrated into the Wi-Fi fingerprints using two phases, the online phase and the offline phase. In the offline phase, which executes k-means over the reference fingerprints obtaining CAC clusters, we could say that k-means provides a local version of the radio map for every cluster. The online phase finds the reference fingerprints more similar to the operational fingerprints in two steps. The first step selects the cluster whose centroid is the most similar to the operational fingerprint and the second step performs a finite grain search on the selected cluster. In the figure, we can see that the computational load has number of vector comparison of Wi-Fi fingerprinting with and without gaming clustering. In the offline stage, the three variants that we propose determine the cluster and their centroids using k-means. The first variant is devoted to improving the core search. In the offline stage, this variant finds a function f1 that maps an AP to the set of clusters that are relevant for it, 
storing all the mappings. For this, we need to find out the relevant clusters which contains at least one fingerprint. The defined threshold has to be greater than or equal to the maximum radius signal strength minus the current signal strength and I has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to the number of detected APs. The second variant adds to the first variant of filter step in the finite grain search. The filtering is applied to oversight clusters whose number of fingerprints exceeds four times the number of fingerprints divided by the number of clusters. In the upland stage, this variant determined an additional function F2 for oversized clusters. In the third variant, we apply the first variant condition. After this explanation, let's continue with the experiment setup. Clustering has been explored many times in the IPS literature. However, the diversity in the implementation details, evaluation criteria, and evaluation scenarios prevent credible comparisons using the reported results. Thus, we created an experiment setup that includes K nearest neighbor as core IPS, two setup of hyperparameters for K nearest neighbor, the best configuration and the simple configuration, three variants of K means, 16 datasets, and 10 execution runs. The cluster had been randomly generated, ensuring that the k-minks and the three variants share the same initialization for each dataset and execution run. The simple configuration used k equal to 1, Manhattan distance, and positive data representation. The best configuration stands for the hyperparameter configuration that reported the lowest positioning error for dataset after evaluated 144 alternatives. The software used is Octave version 4. The hardware has the following characteristics, Core i7 CPU and 16 GB of RAM. The datasets were collected at the Tampere University, University Jaume I, University of Mannheim, and University of Minho. Supplementary materials with methods implementation and dataset explanation are available in Zenodo. The results collected from the paper are the main 3D positioning denoted by error epsilon 3D and the computational time denoted by tau dB, resulting from the processing all the operational fingerprints. Due to the heterogeneity of the dataset, we report the normalized values in the next two columns against the results from the baseline method plain k nearest neighbor with the simple configuration. We can see in this table the positioning error and the computational time for simple and best configuration using k nearest neighbor for each dataset. For instance, the positioning error decreased in the best configuration, but the computational time increased in most of the cases compared with the simple configuration. In the next table, we can see the results of four models of Wi-Fi fingerprinting based on k nearest neighbor using different methods of and values of key. The first ones show the plain k nearest neighbor without any optimization. The second one, Moreira with applies the heuristic. The third one, Gallagher method. And the last one, k means with three values of k. So we have k equal to 25, k equal to RFP1, which is equal to the square root of the number of reference samples, and k equal to RFP2, which is equal to the number of reference samples divided by 25. As expected, k nearest neighbor model reports the largest computational time. The Moreira model provides the lowest general computational cost in the two configuration case. However, it provides the highest mean positioning error. In contrast, the Gallagher model has an accuracy similar to the plain k nearest neighbor model but the time cost is just reduced to a third at the best. Here we can see the results as we mentioned it before the solution based on k-means provides a good trade-off between the accuracy and time cost dimensions, although their main accuracy are slightly worse than those obtained from the other models, their main computational cost is reduced more than 10 times. The number of clusters varies when they depend on a heuristic. For the case of k equal to the square root of the number of reference samples, the majority of core search involve more than 50 clusters, reaching most 
150 in some cases. Similar behavior is obtained in K equal to RFP2, where the core search involves more than 200 clusters in 22% of the cases. Next figure shows that the number of fingerprints in the core search is usually low, less than 200 in the vast majority of the cases. In K equal to 25, the grinding search involves more than 800 reference samples in 19% of the cases. Having a heavy grinding search might be happen when the dataset is large and K is too low, but also when the clusters are not equally distributed. Finally, we can see the best configuration shows that the relative cluster size with respect to the expected size is usually around 1. However, it is 4 times higher than expected in 20% when K is equal to 25, 10% when K is equal to RFP1, and 7% when K is equal to RFP2 of the cases. K-means provides an balanced subset of the radio map, especially in complex data set with multiple device and non-regular spatial distribution of reference points. In the following table, we can see the general results for the three proposed variants under different parametrization conditions, namely K for K-means and Rho for the relevance calculation. The threshold value Rho of the proposed variant has a significant impact on the results. The time cost increase as Rho increase. The Rho value indicates how restrictive or permissive the relevance function is for the core search filtering. Here we can see the variant tree is always providing the lowest general computational cost. In the next figure, we can see the graphical representation of the results. As we mentioned it before, the third variant has the best results in terms of computational cost. Finally, the conclusions. The optimization of the coarse grain in search makes it more computationally efficient, especially when the number of clusters is large. As a side effect, removing non-relevant clusters reduces the presence of odious centroids and therefore the position accuracy is slightly improved. The proposed filtering at core search based on relevant clusters works when it is neither so restrictive nor so permissive. The generated clusters may significantly differ in size. The time cost of the finite grain search depends on the clusters where the operational fingerprints fall into. Some clustering benefits might be lost if the cluster is oversized. Variant 2 and 3 successfully deal with this issue, reducing the computational cost of the traditional K-means to almost a half. Thank you for listening.